Hello everybody, Small Tree Leaf here. Today we're going to be repotting my Royal Poinciana tree. Kind of turn it around here for you. This is one of my favorite trees. The leaves are very sensitive to sunlight. As soon as it gets put in a dark room or the sun goes down, the leaves quickly shrivel up and just dangle there. Um, and I also grew this tree from a seed. So... Yeah, it's one of my favorites. And today we're gonna to be repotting it into this into this pot right here. Small note about this pot. This is also one of my favorite pots. I picked it up while I was in Hong Kong on travel and I've been saving it for the right tree. And now that this tree has gotten big enough, it's, it's the right time. So first, we gotta remove the tree. Since this was in a small growing pot, I don't have any wire securing it. And the, because I can't even pull it out, it means that the roots are pretty, and it's gonna be pretty root bound in here. So I have this small flat tool here and I just put it down each side to kind of, and jiggle it a little bit to free up the, all the dirt and the roots in there. And then now I should be able to easily pull this right on out. Here we go. So that's the rock mix down there in the bottom. And we're just going to break it, gently break apart the dirt here. The roots are very fragile. Just want to be very gentle and do this kind of slowly. And all right, here we go. This tree is about two years old. I honestly expected a little bit more roots in there. <laughs> Um, but this is what we got. So, now that we have all the dirt free, we're going to dunk it in water real quick. It's always important to keep the roots nice and moist on anything you're going to repot. I'm just going to fill up a little cup of water here. And let the tree kind of rest in there while I am working on setting up its new pot. Here, we're going to take this away. Don't need that anymore. Here we have our new pot. Slide this dirt on over. So we're going to start. We are going to put some wire mesh down. And then we're going to put some potting mix. Lock it. Now the wire mesh will help uh, prevent rocks and dirt from seeping through the holes whenever you're watering your plant. So we're just gonna put a nice thin layer of rock down, it's probably good. And kind of spread this on out. Wire mesh moved on us, so let's put that back, hold that down and toss some rocks on top. being a little bit difficult. I find this to be the hardest part of repotting sometimes is getting all, all the wire mesh in the right, <laughs> right place over the hole. All right, so now we have a nice little layer there. Just so slightly covered because the tree's not very, not very big and the pot's not very deep. So you don't want to put a thick layer of that or it'll burn the roots. So we're going to take a nice handful of soil and kind of just place it on top nice and gently. I use a mulchy, uh, mulchy soil mixed with dirt and some big chunks of tree bark and mulch and a couple other things. Um, let me grab the bag for you real quick. So 
the bag I use. So here we go. So now we're going to take our tree out of this. And we're going to get all this soil I just put in there nice and uh, wet. You don't want any dry soil touching the roots. Um, that'll hamper growth and it could kill the roots. It could also introduce air pockets into the soil, which could create root rot. So we're just going to take this, wait for the water to drain through and make a nice little hole here. Place the tree on in. Then we're going to take another handful of soil. And place it on top just like that. Spread that around. Pat it down nice and tight. And actually, I'm gonna dig this up a little bit because I wasn't paying attention and I wanted the tree to be facing a certain way, which would have been this way, right here. So dig that up and just bury the roots back on down in there. Whenever you repot, you get the chance to position your tree however you think it would look best in the pot. And I think that looks pretty nice. Just gonna pat that down nice and tight here. We're gonna give it another uh, watering. Get all that new soil nice and wet. And now the new soil is all wet. The tree might become a bit lopsided in the pot. But that's okay. Normally you can use wire. And I may attempt to use wire here. But the root ball is so small. There's not really much to wrap the wire around. But we're going to try anyway and see how it does. Just take some wire here. Unravel some. Snip off a little piece, form it into a U shape, and there's some little holes on the bottom of the pot. I'm just going to stick the wire through the hole, poke it on up through the soil, take the other end. Find the other hole and stick that on up. Wow, <laughs> took a big old clump of dirt up with it. Okay, pat that back on down. And we're just gonna kind of pull the rest of the wire through, trying to keep it even. dirt back down this is the interesting part <laughs> because the root ball is so small there's not much to wrap the wire around to hold it in place so we are just gonna try to kind of wrap it around the base kind of like this I don't want to constrain the trunk of the tree, so I don't want to have the wire touching the trunk. But I do want it to be nice and tight on the ground right here. I'm going to pull it tight while I'm pushing against the ground and start twisting it. Keep that nice and tight. Eh, not very tight, but I can fix that in a second. So we're going to twist this on up. Straighten those out, make it a little bit easier. Alright. So we're going to snip those ends. We're going to make this nice and tight.
We're gonna tuck this right on under the soil here. Oop, not right there. Some roots right there. Let's try right there. All right. And since the tree is still a little loose, I'm gonna go from underneath here, take some pliers, kind of hold the tree and the wire in place, flip the pot over, and kind of twist the wire down here a little bit to get it nice and tight. Now, that's about as tight as it's going to get. Tree is still a little bit wobbly, but in a week or two, the new roots will start growing into the soil, and it'll be nice and firm in place. And you, so when you're repotting, you want to make sure the water is coming out the bottom like this, because that means all the soil is nice and wet. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below. If you haven't already, check the link in the description to view my website, smalltreeleaf.com.